Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going to go and uh, take a look into what's going on in Chicago and some interesting news uh, in the headlines there related to the mob, politics, bribes, um, you know, the usual stuff in Chicago. Uh, but, you know, I think it's there's an interesting anecdote here, uh, I think, that is a cautionary tale in some ways. And uh, I have some personal insight into the main uh, mob character in the story I'm about to tell, uh, Francis Frank the German Schweiss, the legendary Chicago mob enforcer, uh, extortionist, hitman, uh, tied to dozens of, of mob murders and a lot of it steeped in mythology like the JFK assassination, the possible... Uh, homicide of Marilyn Monroe, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but so this is going to be a little bit of current news. We're going to dip back into the past and we're going to end back here in the present. So uh, this past week, we're finding out about a local businessman in Chicago, Jim Jimmy Weiss, a uh, middle-aged businessman and uh, got convicted back in the summer for bribing two state representatives uh, to push or to champion uh, pro gambling legislation in Springfield, uh, the state state of Illinois capital, uh, and he's in the sweepstakes business, which is like quasi video poker. Um, and he was looking for some legislation to get passed uh, to help his sweet sweepstakes business, and he was paying a senator something like twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars a month um, for them to. Uh, push this this legislation through and he was convicted prosecutors are are looking to put him in a prison for five years and within the the, the pre-sentence report that was filed that made it into the uh, court record this past week it looks like there's some organized crime affiliation or alleged organized crime affiliation tying into uh, the west side crew grand avenue crew and the legendary Frank the German Schweiss, uh, who's been dead now for uh, 15 years. I believe he died in 2008 under indictment and family secrets. But uh, this situation that came up in, in the court record uh, happened back in the summer of 2005. Schweiss is on the run as a fugitive, uh, avoiding arrest from the family secrets case. Everybody knows that landmark uh, FBI investigation uh, put to rest 18 unsolved mob murders, took down a uh, number of administrators in, in the mob uh, in Chicago, including acting boss Jimmy Marcello, crew boss Frankie Breeze, Calabrese, and uh, Schweiss's uh, boss, his direct superior, his close friend, Joey the Clown Lombardo. So Schweiss and Lombardo are on the run. And um, at this point, Jimmy Weiss is a young businessman. He owns some, uh, some massage parlors and some Russian mob guys are pushing pushing up on him, trying to shake him down. According to FBI wiretaps, uh, Jimmy Weiss reaches out to Frank Schweiss, who's on the run, and asks for help. Schweiss is like, hey, guy, I, I got a lot on my plate right now. I'm underground, he says on the wiretap, but I, I'm going to send somebody to, to help you out, and somebody to troubleshoot this for you. So he sends a guy that's referred to in uh, these court filings as individual B's identified as a made member of the Chicago mafia who fixes the situation for Weiss. And according to this uh, FBI wiretap where Jimmy Weiss's brother, Joe Weiss is on um, this individual B the, the mob uh, mobster that Frank Schweiss put him in contact with who fixed the problem with the Russians became his partner for life, has been his partner ever since. And I think it's a it's a cautionary tale in the sense that if you're not one of these guys and, and you go to one of these guys for, for a favor, you know, that favor is going to cost you a thousand favors in return in perpetuity. Uh, you're never going to get out from, from underneath it. And uh, we should say Jimmy Weiss denies any uh, 
connection to to the mob, but this is coming directly from from his brother Joe Weiss. Both Joe and Jimmy Weiss are facing are, are were hit with uh, obstruction charges lying to the FBI related to this. And you know, Jimmy Weiss, this initial case that he had uh, related to to the bribes really had nothing to do, at least on the surface, with organized crime. It seems like by him and his brother failing to um, be forthright with past connections and and friendships, what have you, uh, got the feds digging around and. It, it seems possible if they just would have been upfront about it, uh, that this wouldn't be coming back to bite them. There's a whole new, uh, according to the Chicago Sun Times, there's a whole new uh, racketeering probe now focusing on Jimmy Weiss. In addition to the bribery bribery conviction, um, he now has a grand juries that are being convened looking into his connections with Grand Avenue West Side mob guys, uh, the type of guys that Frank Schweiss pointed him to allegedly. So, you know, they're like going back 100 years, there's this dovetailing between politics in Chicago and the outfit. Um, Jimmy Weiss, whether or not, you know, however you want to define him um, and, and his proximity to the Chicago mafia, his father-in-law is uh, the former Cook County assessor, Joe Berrios. So, you know, he has friends in high places. Um, and it looks like he is, or the FBI might consider him now an associate of the Grand Avenue crew. Again, uh, Schweiss and Lombardo's old stomping grounds now, uh, being lorded over by reputed street boss of the outfit, Albi Vina. Um, and we're going to finish up with this connection. According to the Chicago Sun Times, the guy that owns the, big piece of property on Grand and, and Halstead where a lot of these West Siders, Grand Avenue guys, a uh, whole court, including Vina at his headquarters, Richard's Bar, is owned by Bobby Dominic, a longtime uh, North Side, West Side Chicago mob guy in the porn rackets back in the day with Frank Schweitz, as well as a, a guy named Mike Posner. And Dominic owns this property. And according to the Chicago Sun-Times, Dominic's name has made it into the, uh, the, the grand jury testimony uh, that is being looked into Jimmy Weiss's reputed connections uh, to the Grand Avenue crew. Uh, my sources are telling me that the individual that Schweitz put Weiss with to uh, get the Russians away from him um, was Bobby Dominic. So uh, that I have two sources telling me that. and. This all traces back to Jimmy Weiss not being upfront about the fact that he knew uh, and was friendly with with Frank the German, and that now it, it is coming back to bite him, and possibly other members of the Grand Avenue crew, possibly Bobby Dominic. So uh, we'll be keeping tabs on it here at the OG for Benny Behind the Glass. Check back. Uh, Later this week for another long form edition of the OG podcast with the Dr. Jimmy Buccellato. For now, I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out. Mm -hmm.